America's Got Talent returned with the newest spin-off, AGD. All Stars, which brought back previous winners, fan favorites, finalists, and several other contestants from the whole Got Talent franchise. The show is aired on NBC with Terry Crews as the host and Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel, and Heidi Klum as judges. Out of the most loved contestants in the show, four AGD winners are coming to the new series. Season 2 winner ventriloquist Terry Fader, Season 14 winner Sinner Cody Lee, Season 15 winner Brandon Leake, and Season 16 winner magician Dustin Tavella. It's not far-fetched to say that most who have appeared on AGT or even won the show have enjoyed a considerable amount of success and spotlight. That being said, few have built their whole career through their journey on AGT. One of those extraordinary talents is Terry Fader, a ventriloquist, who is arguably one of the most impressive individuals, who soared after his win on AGT. But what is it that made Terry impressive? that he is still deemed the most successful contestant from AGD. Let's go back to the very beginning to understand Terry Fader more deeply. Born on June 10, 1965, Terry Fader took an interest in ventriloquism when he was in fifth grade, when he was searching for a book for a Valentine's Day project for school, and came across the book, Ventriloquism for Fun and Profit by Paul Winchell. Soon after that, he purchased a Willy Talk dummy from Sears and performed at a church picnic, winning a $25 prize. He was 10 years old when he got his first ventriloquism dummy, and 18 years old when his mother bought him his first puppet. Terry's choice to impersonate singers through ventriloquism was because he liked singing in the car, but after seeing other people look goofy while they were doing so, he would do it without moving his lips. Terry would perform in high and middle schools throughout US and Canada in the early days of his career. He struggled quite a lot, having to conduct tax at fairs, or after leaving the show band, Texas the Band. One major event that discouraged Terry was, when his show for a 1,000-seat theater only had one attendee, almost making him quit ventriloquism. Fortunately, his family was there to pick him back up and encourage his passion. He continued to doubt his career choice until he finally got an audition at America's Got Talent in 2007 when he was 42 years old. That was how his story started. Beyond everyone's expectations, Terry not surprised the people with his audition, but went on to become the first ventriloquist to win the show. After that, Terry appeared as an honored guest with his debut show at the Las Vegas Hilton. In October 2007, he signed a $1.5 million contract with the Las Vegas Hilton, doing three shows every month from January 2008 to May 2008. When he appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show in March 2008 with Simon Cowell, the AGD judge and creator called Terry, one of the two most talented people on the planet. The ventriloquist then went on to sign one of the biggest Vegas contracts. It was in May of 2007 that Terry signed a $100 million contract for five years to perform at the Mirage on the Las Vegas Strip nightly. Exceeding the contract time, Terry only left the Mirage in Las Vegas in July 2020 after 11 years. With all these huge deals and ventures, it is no wonder that Terry Fader is the richest ventriloquist with an estimated net worth of $160 million. Despite all the fame and riches he has found, Terry has never forgotten to remain humble and modest. During his performance on the first episode of AGD, All Stars, Simon Cowell noted that the ventriloquist had already experienced a thriving career and didn't have to compete on the show, and asked why he had decided to compete again. To this, the 57-year-old gave an answer befitting his kind personality. He said that it was 15 years ago that he started to inspire people, and with a whole new generation of audience and fans now, he wanted to use the platform to continue inspiring them. In his preliminary performance, Terry brought back his puppet Winston, who sang the prayer as Andrea Bocelli. He then took out his Elton John puppet to perform a duet with Winston, singing as Dua Lipa with the song Rocket Man. Not surprisingly, Terry received standing ovations from the crowd and the judges for his ever-impressive act. The ventriloquist got enough votes from superfans to enter the top three of the night, but didn't get chosen to head to the finals. 
he talked to people about his feelings towards the show and revealed that he wanted to support his AGT family and that he would always be present for future AGT opportunities. This is it, guys. We have already reached the end of the video. Please like and comment to share your thoughts and subscribe for more videos like this.